I woke up this morning and what did I see? As usual, I woke up and brewed the kettle, got the juices flowing, brushed me gnashes, scratched me sack and went on the internet where only positive things can happen. Now, I came across this incredible bit of information that I thought could only be fake, that could only be unreal. However, further getting my Sherlock Holmes hat on and getting my magnifying glass, I true found it was real. This story is quite baffling. A full disclaimer, this bad boy happened in 2008. Some of you were probably like, oh, I was like six. It was a long, long time ago. But basically, two suicide victims, you shouldn't laugh, suicide is serious and very sad, but this is just crazy stuff. The woman basically had the same husband, two different, the woman basically had two different husbands and when the first died, donated the heart to the other one and they both ended up dying. Now, what does that tell you? Did he have a faulty heart and his heart just bled and he's just, I can't do this. No, it's the woman. So, how does this how does this story so unfortunately the 69 year old got a gold remington shotgun and dove hunting points point the muzzle right side of his throat and pulled the trigger obviously unless you're playing something like halo that's a dead man's game you're dead son all right you're out of here so they ki he killed himself he might have just been well he was 69 he was old poor guy and basically the fact that this man killed himself and didn't shoot him you know basically from the bottom half down allowed his heart to be reused <laughs> So his heart gave this man called Graham a second chance. When the first husband, who was called Terry, died, he gave his heart to Graham. So nearly a decade, so nearly 10 years later, Graham married the Terry's ex-wife, also the widow. How does this happen? I don't know. It makes you think, what does the heart do? Does it connect people? I don't think so, no. I think that this was all a plot. As the word spread that this man had killed himself, obviously uh, there was a lot of thing, reporters and bloggers waxed on about cellular memory so basically pretending that this heart was connected to this woman and was just drawn to her you know like do you feel that he's like what i don't know why but my heart's pulling me closer to that woman imagine that they're in a bar and they just go yeah we're, we're really close and she goes yeah i feel that too imagine the shock when he finds out that he's had a heart transplant and that it was the ex-husband i mean what what so apparently the brain is where the conscience resides obviously so the brain decides who you like and love and what how you feel the heart is just something that keeps the blood flowing from your head to your testes to your toes all right so they had kids all that stuff and then they had recently a three in married annulled married to someone else so terry filed for a divorce and then shot himself very very sad so obviously this happened you know 2008 um when it, when the story is released but it actually happened in 1994 so then the they obviously were divorced they would still talk when he was shed he was said talk to talk to me he said one night in 90 i've got a gun to my head one of the months and then he shot himself very sad so when I first read this, I, I couldn't believe it. How can they both kill themselves after spending time with this woman? It only tells me one thing. This woman must have been an absolute horror show. She must have been an absolute burden on everyone's life she came into contact with. How does your first husband kill himself? You give the heart to someone else, you know, unintentionally, whatever. The same. You then find this person somehow, mysteriously, but like you went into the bloody hospital databases. Where the fuck is his heart gone? I must find this person. Oh, it's this guy. She bloody sets him up and now, they, now they've been married he then kills himself later on married to the same woman i mean it mentions things about loans and refusing to um basically settle as you do in a um a, what they called a, a divorce so obviously when you divorce you split 50 50 which is you know whatever you think about it and then cheryl was basically fighting with the other guy threatening to shoot himself telling him he wanted to die so by the time the divorce was final sherry was already going out with the other guy I, this is just nuts you could read the whole article if I remember, which I never do, I'll link it below. But how, I mean, imagine if you're this woman. I really want to interview this woman. Is she still alive? What's she do? What's she done to cause these two people to kill themselves? You know what I mean? Like, she must be the worst wife in the world. You know, like, you know, I feel bad when I, like, don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. But, like, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. More for a good joke and a bit of banter. But sometimes, it's not banter. You know what I mean? Sometimes people are burdens. They cause so much pain and misery and disturbance on your life. Look, this is a crazy story. I thought when I would talk about this, it would shed some light maybe the human anatomy but no it just makes things more confusing how can, in god's name can a woman be a part of the same basically the same heart's journey and have two suicides do you think this is just crazy and just look at the draw you know oh this poor woman she's the victim or do you think she was just a nasty bitch if you read it, it kind of sounds to me like she's the nasty bit hmm hmm i don't know like i just wanted to talk about this poor dudes and this wife i hope she was nasty because if not having two 
two husbands kill themselves while you've been married to them is pretty fucking rough. Pretty fucking, oh, pretty bad. Anyway, that's it. Look after yourselves, homies, and yeah, look after, well, yourselves.